Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome, welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. This is episode number 143 on this fine Sunday. Hey, Sundays are for chilling and relaxing. So, take a seat, maybe even sort of lay down a little bit, relax and, and enjoy this video today, all right? Take a load off. Just, you know, put your feet up. Um, and then if you've got weekend league still to go, then I feel sorry for you. But uh, good luck to you, I guess. Uh, as we enter the episode, can you do me a favor? Hit me with a thumbs up button. Love to see 4K likes on this episode. I know you're capable of it. So let's go ahead and see that like target get absolutely smashed. And then we uh, come back to the video. But yeah, thank you. Uh, also, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, going... Into the episode with a new, or going into the weekend league, should I say, with a new set of defensive midfielders is uh, exciting, I guess. Like, I'm quite interested to try out these players. Uh, we have to, of course, enter the, or redeem off at Champions play, uh, Finals token, and we go into game number one. Ronaldo, Ginola, lots of very good players. This guy's done a few SBCs by the looks of it. Um... And, yeah, I mean, I actually start quite well uh, in this weekend league, which is unusual for me. Normally, I'm a little bit rusty, considering I haven't really played. But I think I played a little bit of Rivals the night before. I didn't show you any in yesterday's video because I lost all of the games that I played. And I hate the Elite Division with a passion. And I'm only three wins away in the Elite Division from getting a 50k pack and a 100k pack from winning the... Or doing some sort of milestone objective. But can I get those wins? Absolutely not. It's just not happening. So I'm going to need to fully concentrate on that after I've got my weekend league done. Um, but as you can see, I'm 3-0 up at half time in this game. Going really well for game number one. I've had loads of shots and stuff. And I wondered why this guy hadn't quit. And then the second half came around and it just seemed like he came out a completely different player. Whether or not as two mates sitting in a house playing together and they, they, they each get a half, I don't know. But the second half was... A lot more difficult than the first, I would say. Maybe it's because he changed his uh, tactics a little bit and uh, went a little bit more aggressive and I struggled to deal with that. But I had a 7.6 XG and uh, I won 4-1 in the end. So a really, really good start. Nice positive uh, and motivational start uh, for our Foot Champs run, which... I got done all on Friday, by the way. Uh, so this guy had two Team of the Years. He had Jorginho... And he also had Cancelo. I would love to pack either or both or any of the team of the years other than Donnarumma now because I've already got him. Um, so it'd be nice. It'd be lovely if I could get uh, some more blues going on going forwards this week. Uh, but I go 1-0 down. Not great. Vinny Jr. then knocks it into Pele. Really, really nicely uh, directed header into the back of the net. We love that from Pele. He's not normally great in the air, but that was uh, sublime from the Brazilian. And then that scoop turn to the five, um, to the green time shot uh, is just, yeah, I mean, that works, doesn't it? So uh, I go 2-1 up before half time. Don't really deserve it, though, by the looks of it. You know, it's a pretty even game, but my opponent just about coming out on top, really. Uh, so we're lucky to be 2-1 uh, up. And I actually make it 3-1. Only five or six minutes into the second half. Uh, Coutinho with a little chip over the goalkeeper. A nice, quick attack. That is pretty much how I, how I play on this game. Uh, and... I was just doing a little bit of game management and sort of almost like running on autopilot. He did get a goal towards the end, but then obviously I sort of set up in my chair and made sure I focused to get the dub. Um, because, yeah, this is this was a pretty even game, but I just managed to get a couple of goals ahead. And, of course, it's then fairly easy to uh, just sort of manage it out and, and, and not end up conceding and losing. Although sometimes, of course, it does happen. Into the next one then, solid squad, again, lots of icons, we've seen a lot of icons so far this weekend, uh, and this guy was pretty good, his Henri manages to slip it into uh, Hugo Sanchez, and he gets the goal from that, yeah, fair play, uh, it's not the sort of goal that I like to like to concede, because uh, it's just running down the line and passing it across, but I'm so, I'm so terrible at defending them, uh, yeah, I'd had nothing in this game. I quit at 1-0 at half-time. I realized when I had a 0.0 XG, 
I was like, yeah, I don't deserve to be in this game. This guy can take the dub. I'll move on. I'm sure I'll get my 9 or my 11 wins, whatever it is. Uh, and it just it doesn't matter that much. So uh, I was in a little bit of time constraint because I know I needed to get all my games done on Friday, um, which I didn't do last week, I don't think. Um, but obviously going to Sheffield Wednesday for the game, like in the, you know when, when you were watching yesterday's video, I needed to get this video done today because I'll be in Sheffield all day on, on the Saturday. So it's like I needed to get my weekend league done and then sit there and do a whole bunch of editing on Friday. So Friday was a busy one for me. Um, but of course, it then allows me to have a little bit more of a weekend, which obviously I'm very happy about. Absolutely loving my football at the moment. It's uh, Yeah, I'm quite hooked again. I feel like we've got our club back, which is uh, quite quite awesome i'm not gonna lie it's a good feeling that to, to be like super interested in the club and stuff again because uh, for those of you that don't know i was a season ticket holder at, at ipswich town like when i was growing up for probably like 10 years and then it just sort of dropped off as i got older and a little bit busier and stuff like that but now i'm uh doing my best to get back to all of the games and yeah managing to get to pretty much all of them at the moment which is really really fun um so I get the victory there. We're up to 13 points. So we're three and one right now. Into the next one we go. Odd team. Prem team, but like not really that amazing. Uh, but there's some other good players in his team. Um, so I've got to be a bit cautious. But Coutinho knocks it into the box. And I mean, I mean, it's it was like the third opportunity of me scoring there. And finally, Paqueta actually gets a goal for the club, which is really good for him. I think he's, that's like maybe the second goal he's got for us uh, so far. It's nice to have a player like him who definitely can shoot and stuff uh, to, to be in that DM spot, but then sometimes just pop up and get a random goal. Uh, I'm sure he absolutely loves that, the digital pixels in my club, not not the actual player because he has no idea who I am or that I exist. Uh, but anyway, Vinny Jr. knocks it into Pele. Really great ball, lovely touchdown, sublime finish from the Brazilian. What more can I ask for? Uh, and then yeah, I do that. So well done, Tom. Good work. Just just boot it off in Mbappe's head, why don't you? Let him get the rebound and then uh, <clears throat> well, let, yeah, and then he scores from it. So that, that sucks. But as you can see, we are attacking right now. So it's looking likely that I'm going to get another goal here in the 90th minute. Look at the dribbling from Vinny. I turn him inside out and then smash it into the roof of the net. I was buzzing with that because normally I'm not that great at the, the intricate dribbling. So getting inside the box there and actually like sending all of those players for a hot dog was uh, was just delicious uh, and I come away a deserved winner with my 7.2 xg so we're four and one this is uh sometimes how my weekend league goes and when that happens you normally get a much 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 more difficult midsection which is in my opinion, then a worse weekend league than if I was to just lose a lot right at the start. Because once I've played these five matches, which I've just done, a lot of them were quite long, quite stressful, quite close games. So you're definitely not feeling refreshed and stuff going into the midsection of your weekend league where you know the opponents are going to be more difficult to play against. So <clears throat> in an ideal world, knowing that I try and get 11 wins every week, we haven't actually failed that once really yet, have we? Um... But yeah, since, since that's what I aim for, I'd almost rather go like 0 and 5 and know that it's going to give me a much clearer run through. I haven't tested that, but it has happened a little bit before. Where I think I was 0 and 4, wasn't I, a couple of weeks ago? Like legit. I didn't give people the wins or anything. It was just legit. I was 0 and 4. But then the rest of the weekend league went sort of like swimmingly. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> it's uh, something I... I should maybe look into on, on on the slightly busier weekends. But of course, if you were to go like 0 and 5, you've then got only 15 games to get your 11 wins. So it's, you know, it's a little bit more tough, isn't it? You got, you've got to rely on your ability then to definitely uh, end up working for you. But I get a goal in the 87th minute in this match as well. So I've come away victorious in a couple of games right at the very end in this little session, uh, which is... Has been a little bit unlike me, actually, for the last couple of weeks. It used to be like a key thing that I always did was I always won late on. You know, I would keep pushing and trying to get those wins late on. But the last few weeks, I seem to remember some of my games that I've lost. I've lost right at the last kick of the game and or in penalties and stuff like that. So uh, <clears throat> it's like me being a bottle job right at the end of the game. This week, I'm super calm, composed. Love that. So we're 1-0 up against... Quack, quack, 
Quack Jack. Nice, nice name, I guess. And then uh, Vinicius Jr. is just outpacing everybody. Whips it into the back post. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was offside for Pele. I don't know how it wasn't. I didn't really look back at it properly, but maybe he was just in line or the ball was played straight across. Um, <clears throat> oh, God. I'm just... Sorry, my, my watch is going off. I need to... I need to turn my notifications off again. I keep forgetting. Uh, but I can't tell you how many wins I'm up to now. And oh my God, this guy's got team of the year. Mbappe. That's not good. Uh, he ends up scoring on me. I quit after 1-0 because it would be, it had been a fairly tense 20 minutes. And he was quite, quite good. I would say I held on is what I would say I did for 20 minutes. And I just knew that game was going to stress me out because he's got team of the year in Mbappe and I haven't. And he had 95 Pele. Some people just have better luck than others. Poor little old me. I don't really get much impact. So, you know, those people wind me up. I am, of course, joking. I understand that my pack luck seems to be very, very good. <laughs> anyway, on to the next one. I'm 1-0 one up at halftime. Super even game though, so I could tell this one was going to go you know, go the distance. Uh, and as you can see here, ah, oh, Donnarumma, supposed to be a team of the year. I want you to punch that one out with like with gumption, so it goes out, all right. And then I go two one down. Oh god! And then I think I actually end up going three one down. I was one nil up. How have I bottled this? Uh, and then Bellingham knocks it into Robbie Keane again. Yeah, I quit. I quit at three one because. There's no point. Hey, he's got my celebration. I didn't even notice that. A guy with uh, good taste. Also bought the shuffle celebration off, uh, off the team of the year pack on the store for FIFA points, probably. Um, just like I did. But we quit that one. And normally, when I make a tactical quit, it helps me. You know, I, I, I somehow get lucky in the next game and get a really quick 1-0 victory. I score after 12 minutes with Pele. He pauses the game. He quits the game. That just sort of, it just works. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I, I that happens to me more often than you would you would ever know. Uh, although I show you all of the games, so you, you should pro probably should know. Um, but yeah, we get ourselves a little 1-0 win. Gets me back on a, uh, a little bit of a, a positive uh, motivational mindset. And we're at 31 points. That, I believe... Doing the maths is seven and three. Uh, yeah, that's good. Really good from my first 10 games. It was important to get a whole bunch of the games done in this episode right here. Because that means tomorrow I can... The, the last 10 games of the weekend league are always a lot shorter than the first 10 in my opinion. Because you do start running into the people that have already finished theirs. And sometimes gift you a win. Or you lose your head enough that you quit at 1-0 and they quit at 1-0. Like the, the second half is definitely shorter. So uh, we'll get that done in tomorrow's episode. And then of course there'll be red player picks. There'll be ultimate packs and stuff for, for when the honourable mentions came out. So there's always a chance that we could get something good in those. So, yeah, really good start for Paqueta. I like him. I'm not sure about Malinkovic Savage, you know. I don't know if I love him, and I don't know if I dislike him. I certainly don't hate him. He's been all right. But when a player doesn't stand out, what, do you th what does that mean? Does that mean they're doing their job, or does it mean... Because, like, you can stand out in two ways. You can stand out because... You're playing exceptionally well and I'm loving every minute of being on the ball with you and you're making a difference in a good way to my team. Or you can stand out by making so many mistakes and dodgy first touches and slow reactions and stuff that I think, what the hell am I doing with you or my team? So, yeah, I guess if he's uh, if he's not standing out that much, he's kind of just getting on with it and doing his job, which is really all I needed CDM to do. So, yeah, so far so good on 115k spent on a on a very well-rounded statted Serie A player who, of course, gets that strong link off of Cordoba. Not loving Cordoba at the moment, though. I think Sula's clear. I think Sula's better. So, probably the last weekend league that Cordoba's going to play because I can't be dropping Carlos Alberto. So, I think, it's, I think we bring Sula back in for the next one. But we'll see this team out for the rest of the weekend league. We'll get it done for you in tomorrow's episode. Guys, do me a favor. Smash the thumbs up button. I'd love to see 4,000 likes. Thank you for your awesome support. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Cheers. And follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. You can find those links down below. Right. 
I'm going to go and edit these up and get them uploaded to YouTube. But you know that because you're already watching them. I'll catch you tomorrow for another episode. Peace.